Hedge fund managers, including Crispin Odi, are among those profiting from steep falls in sterling and UK government bonds, as investors take flight on fears over the sustainability of the country's public finances. The founder of Odi Asset Management is one of several leading hedge fund managers who believe the pound could now fall to parity against the dollar or below. Both his group and other trend-following hedge funds have been running short positions, bets on falling prices, against the pound and longer-dated gilts for some time. Odie's bets, based on the belief that the market had badly underestimated how long inflation could stay high, are now paying off handsomely. His flagship European hedge fund is now up about 145% this year. I don't think you can start getting bullish on sterling, Odi told the Financial Times, expressing his belief the pound could hit one-to-one -one against the dollar. It's so close to parity, he said. The adverse market reaction to Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng's tax-cutting, high borrowing plan last week has hit both sterling and the gilts market, as investors fretted about its impact on inflation, government debt and Britain's hefty current account deficit. After the Chancellor, who at one stage worked for Odi, suggested at the weekend there could be further tax cuts, Sterling hit an all-time low of $1.035 on Monday. It's been helpful, Odi said about his short Sterling position. It and Sterling and gilts is all part of the same story of higher inflation. The market has been a long way from where inflation was. The pound is now down more than 4% against the dollar since Quarting's fiscal plan on Friday, while UK gilts are on course to post their worst month on record dating back to 1979. Odie described his bets against gilts as the gifts that keep on giving. Many of the bearish bets on sterling have also been run by so-called managed futures hedge funds, a sector running $390 billion, according to data provider HFR. These strategies try to latch onto trends in global markets. The pound's fall from more than $1.40 in June last year has provided a strong trend for funds to follow. Funds have held a short sterling position for well over a year, according to Societe Generale's trend indicator, which models the positions of such funds, and in 2022, it has been the second most profitable bet for them, behind only wages against Japan's currency.